On April 14, 2010, all flights in Central and Northern Europe were halted by a volcano which started erupting in Iceland. The volcano was erupting since one month, but it started spewing ash everywhere over large areas. This could happen again with no warning. There are 1,500 active volcanoes worldwide, but only 100 volcano observatories with only a handful of these working 24-7. So only 5% of volcanoes are monitored well enough to send early warnings to airlines and airports. With so many volcanoes so spread across the world, many of them in remote locations, the only way to monitor them all at once is to do that from space. And this is exactly what my research is doing. What we see here is uh, Congo, where you have a volcano, Niragongo, and uh, this uh, picture is taken by satellite. Green is typically standard concentration of sulfur dioxide. The yellow is a high concentration, red is a very high concentration. This is the other way we have for monitoring uh, the volcanoes. This system allows measuring from this high satellite the eruptive power and measuring exactly the start of the eruption and at the end of the eruption. So building on this, we want to create a 24-7 intelligence support. It will be global, automated, near real time, and it will take two, three years from now when all satellites will be in place. I am confident that at the Open University we have the skill and the technology for making the real-time global monitoring of volcanoes a reality.